Hi, it's Amanda from Omni. Today, I will introduce our CNC router Pro E Lite series. This machine working size is 1.3 meter in X direction and 2.5 meter in Y direction. And also, this machine is available for 1.5 meter by 3 meters and 2 meters by 3 meters. In this demo, we will have a brief intro of the machine and then comes to operation guide. By following this instruction, you can learn how to operate the machine and start cutting your own projects. This router is a powerful and versatile machine that can handle a wide range of things routing tasks. It's perfect for business of all sizes, from small working shops to large manufacturing companies. The Pro E series SYNC router is only $10,000 US dollars, making a great option for business with limited budgets. And this series has a number of features that can make it a great choice for a wide range of applications. These features include Linear Auto Tool Changer. This allows you to quickly and easily switch between cutting tools, improving efficiency and productivity. 9 kW air cooling spindle. This provides plenty of power for even the most demanding jobs like aluminum board cutting. Thinking wheel did machine frame, thinking gantry and gantry sport. This provides a sturdy and stable platform for cutting even on large and complex projects. Vacuum pump, plus table. It helps to hold your workpiece in place while you are carding, preventing from moving or warping. Linear guide on X, Y, and Z. This provides high precision and accuracy for your cards. Material loading wheels. This makes it easy to load your workpiece. New dust collector hold at a vacuum pump. This helps to keep your work area clean and free of dust. This is our control cabinet, and let's open it to see it. The only sensor router control cabinet is a sturdy and reliable enclosure that houses the machine controller, power supply, servo drive, relay, terminal blocks, fuses, circuit breakers, and other electrical components. Now let's talk about how to operate the machine. Step 1. Turn on the machine. Release the emergency stop and turn on the power key. Now press OK. Press ZRN. That means go home. Press Start. Now we can see the machine is going home. This control system is LNC. Uh, it is very easy to operate. Okay, now the machine is at the machine origin you can see the coordinates of x y z or zero when the homing down is done press drop then we can control the machine movement manually you can see with when we press z x and y the machine is moving according to the direction. Tool calibration. Press MEM ATM and then to start the tool calibration. Firstly, we set the first tool for the calibration. Input 1 and press Enter. Click Start. Now we can see the head moving to the tool sensor to 
start the calibration. Take a close look. We can see the tool piece is closing to the tool sensor surface and start calibration. Every tool, we will have the calibration for three times for the higher precision. Now we can see the first tool calibration is done and uh, let's come to the second tool calibration. Input two and press enter, press start or F1 to start the second tool calibration. We can see the head is moving to the second tool to start the calibration. The process is the same as the first one. Also th three times. Okay, done. As former, now let's import three for third tool calibration. Press start. The third tool calibration is starting. Now the spindle holding the third tool to move toward the, the tool sensor, start calibration. And let's take a close look. Okay, the third tool calibration is done. Till now, all three tools calibration is done. Press back forward and then click jog. Move the machine back to the origin. And let's set work piece origin. By the way, you can set a workpiece orange any position you prefer. And next step, let's use MPG to set the workpiece orange. Press MPG on the control screen and choose the axis. Rotate the MPG and move the spindle head down. And we can also choose X or Y axis on MPG and move the head toward the workpiece origin. To ensure the tool base touch the surface of the workpiece but still can rotate. Now we back to the control screen, click ATM, Z set. Go back forward and then click setup. G54 is for setting the workpiece home origin. Click teaching. Click set X, set Y. Z axis no need set. And then now the workpiece origin setting is done. Click go back to the main screen. And then we come to next step, 
USB file import. Click USB file program import. It means import program. Select now. Let select the file and transfer it. Click back forward and then click file. Choose the program file you want to run on the system. And then the machine start working. Here is a brief intro of the main screen. From right to left, the first one is dust cover. You can control the dust collector hood manually by clicking dust cover. When we click it, you can see the cover moves up and down. And the second one is spindle pie knife. Spindle pen knife means release the tool holder manually. Dust collector. When you click it, the dust collecting system is on. Vacuum means vacuum pump. When you click the pump and it will hold the materials. Back reference position means back to workpiece origin reference position. That is the same meaning. POS means position, you can position it manually. F8 to F12, you can customize the meaning of these buttons. This is the spindle run. And uh, when we click, the spindle is turning on, and this one is spindle stop. When we press it, uh, uh, the spindle will stop rotating. And here it means the processing speed by can be controlled by choosing the different uh, speed. And uh, this is the speed rate of the processing. And this one is spindle rotating speed. Home means back home to the home screen. When we click the file, it will show the file in on the controller. USB import we just talked about. A US it means import the file from USB disk. Here the setup, it means setting the workpiece origin. When we click the user, you need to, you will adjust the parameters here and you have to, MEM means auto mode processing. When we set the workpiece origin and processing, we all need this mode. 
MTI means manual data input. It uses clipboard to input a program directly suited for the simple short program. MPG, we just talked about. ZR means orange. MPG join means MPG simulation. This PK means machine only carry program running for one line, one time. Then we will stop and then you will have to press start. Then the machine will start run for the second line. Door means under a door line production mode. Usually we use the cabinet production mode. It means under cabinet making mode. Then it resets start and pause. If you are looking for sensor router that can help increase productivity, improve accuracy, and reduce costs, but this deal with limited budget, I cannot afford the Italy made spindle, Ayascava servo motor and drive, then Omni Pre Series sensor router is a great option for you. If you are interested in learning more about Omni Pro Series 6 router, please visit our website or contact us today. We'd be happy to answer any questions you have and help you find the right router for your needs.